So I'm going to show you how to do an intramuscular injection. Sometimes you might need to give your own horse a shot if they're on antibiotics or if they uh, might need a tranquilizer for the shoer. So let me just run through it real quick. It's always best to have somebody show it to you in person, and I can certainly come out and do that and just consider this a refresher. So we're here we have the syringe and needle and what we're going to give. So let me show you how to open the syringe because right now everything in there is sterile. You just twist the plastic and out it comes. You would like to keep that area clean and sterile so you don't want to touch it. Now you have your needle. Same thing. Twist. There's a little plastic seal there. Pull this off. Now this is the sterile area and you want to put these together. Sometimes I can kind of hold that while I take the cap off, otherwise the whole needle comes off. You don't want to have the needle exposed for too long. So let's take the cap off the bottle, clean it with a little alcohol, take your needle off, cap off, and you're going to insert right in the middle of the rubber. And then you're going to turn the bottle upright, and as you pull, you're going to notice that if you don't bring the needle back, you're going to get air in your syringe. So if you get that, you can just push it back in and draw your needle out to where you see fluid. Once you have it, go ahead and cap your needle gently. And then one tip that I like to give people, especially for horses that perhaps don't like shots, is after this, go ahead and get a fresh needle because what's going to happen is there's a coating on this needle and once you put it through the rubber stopper it'll take the coating off. Okay, now we're going to go to the horse. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the location of where you give a shot. The easiest place is in the neck of the horse. So we're going to look at the anatomy so we know where to go and where not to go. In the horse, the spine travels deep to the muscle in this area right here. These are cervical vertebrae that are underneath the muscle and then travels up backwards. So, what I like to do is start where our jugular vein is and put my pinky in it and spread my thumb out pretty good. And where my thumb lands, draw a line. And that's one of the lines of a triangle we're going to make. The second line is obvious. It's right in the crease in front of the shoulder. And the third line is the easiest of all. You just connect these two. So you're going to go right in the middle of the triangle. It will be nice fleshy feel to it. You're staying well above the bone area. And you don't want to be up in this area at all because there's the nuchal ligament. And that ligament is what holds the head up. And it has very little blood supply. And so what will happen is the medication will be stuck in that area and can actually cause a sterile abscess. So we'll grab our shot. I'm going to take your cap off the needle. I like to grab a little skin just to let them know I'm coming. But you're not going to go in the base of the skin. That's for subcutaneous injection. You're just going to go right here directly in. Draw back. Make sure you're not in a blood vessel. And then with moderate pressure, go ahead and push the drug in. If you get blood back, just take the needle out and insert in another location. 